All right, I've been leaning over these plans and measuring shit for about three and a half, four hours now, trying to find that two inches. And I think I found it. But I was talking to the mason yesterday, and he was telling me because they went from 10 inch block to 12 inch block, that they moved the block two inches past the surveyor's pins so that the interior dimensions on the second floor would be accurate. But they did not do that on the basement. I mean, I've confirmed that. that. That wall, I've measured it three times and it's 26 foot from outside to outside. So I know they did not bump that wall out, you know, two inches here, two inches, because then it would be 26 foot four, but it's not. So I came, I came up here and I checked a couple different ways. And this pink, I took that dimension, seven foot, 10 and an eighth, and this dimension, 19 foot, eight and seven sixteenths. Got 27 foot, six and nine sixteenths. Brought that up here. I'm trying to remember what the hell I did. I took the blue 28 and 1 16th plus the thickness of the original block wall, which would have been 10 inches. Added that together. Got 28 foot, 11 and 1 16th. Plus the 27 foot, 6 and 9 16ths from the blue measurements. Whew. Equals 56 and 5 eighths. plus one foot eight for the stem wall. I got that measurement, I scaled it and got it off of A2. So now I'm at 58 foot one and five eighths plus 23 foot three inches. gives me 81, four and five, eight inches. So from this point, all the way to here, where that, where that beam sits, that path of load, based on the numbers, is 81, four and five eighths. He was telling me this beam was crooked, which it probably was, because we've already shown that the brick is running off the steel beam that is in torsion now. So I wanted to check the path of load, you know, very similar to what happened here. I wanted to check the path of load of, of, of this point. So the orange numbers, 40 foot two and a half, five foot three and a half. Uh, la, 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 la. Where? 10 foot two and a half, 
21 foot 8. Two foot eight and a half. The slick little tricky thing you gotta miss is you can't forget the thickness of the original block walls. Ten inches. Add all that up. Eighty foot ten and a half. This dimension here. The 21 foot 8 inch as drawn on the plans. 21 foot 8 inch plus the thickness of the wall, or the original wall, 10 inches, is 22 foot 6. But the placement of this column and that column actually measures 22 foot 4. 22 foot 6 minus 22 foot 4 is 2 inches. It's been driving me up the wall. So if I give that 2 inches back to this rear path of load dimension, I end up with 81 foot 1 half inch. which is not the same as 81 foot four and three quarters. When you subtract that, you end up with a difference of four and one eighth. If you divide that in half, it's two. Another two inches. So what I think they've done somewhere, I think they had to keep they had to keep this, this point correct. But when they got here, I think they blew that brick past the pins by two inches. And I think they blew this brick past the pin by two inches to account for the 12 inch block bigger and bigger. And I think that's where the difference of four inches came from. What they, I'm assuming what they did, because they had to keep all these pins right. But I think when they got here, to this retainer wall, they changed that from, I think it was from a 10 inch wall to a 16 inch wall. So I think they put that, Ah, damn, what did they do? I think they put, oh, because of the veneer. So I think they put that two inch this way to the west, which accounts for the two inches I've been hunting for for three freaking years. Um, yeah, so I mean, with a difference of four and an eighth, you divide that in half, then yes, this beam because they had to hit that damn column and they'd already established this point. So that beam was two inches out of plane. And this stem wall or foundation wall or whatever the hell it was, was askew to the veneer. Because they probably, they, they probably pinned that they pinned that for their original 10 inch wall. And they built it. So this wall was actually running to a 10 inch wall pin, but it didn't plane with this. So really this thing was in a, an exaggerated, <sighs> Christ. These guys, they just, you know, it, 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 they don't revise the plans. If I, I swear to God, if I, if, if, I don't know that I've proven anything. I think I have. But this would have been the, you know, the framers mess up. The framers crooked. The floors, everything's a fucking framers fault, and it's not. It's in these goddamn plans and the placement of those columns.
And I haven't proved it yet, but I think this is in the wrong spot too. Because this one does that. So you got one beam going like this and you got one beam going like that. God damn it. I mean, I've, I've been going crazy. I, said, I know there's two inches in here somewhere. There's something going on. It had to be. It's got to be. One of these walls, they have, as he said, they, they couldn't do it here or here or here. Right there, I think, is where it started. I think they moved that. I think they moved that block two inches to the west, which made the as-built condition where they placed those two columns two inches different than where it was supposed to be. <sighs> Damn it. This has been driving me up the wall. And, and th th the problem is, as, as I think I've illustrated, once, once you keep building off an issue, you know, if let, let's just assume I'm right and it started right here. They moved the block or whatever, lost lost two inches, gained two inches, wherever the hell it was. Well, that's gonna affect everything else if they're going east to west. Or it doesn't matter which direction they're going, but I mean, if they're going west to east, it's still gonna muck everything up. But I, I think, I saw some pictures, Cat had some pictures of the foundation, and I think they started east and went west I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that damn column right there is two inches out. I mean, that's why they had to fur that wall. I mean, I mean that wall's all furred out two inches, and this wall's furred out two inches. What a nightmare. All because they didn't want to revise the plans. The 30 or 40 sets of plans that I got anyway. What a big fucking cluster fuck. All right, I feel a little bit better. At least I, at least I know I'm not totally crazy. There is a two inch flaw. All right, I'll see you.